how to create a car rental website on Wix. Hi guys and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how you guys can create your own car rental website using Wix. Now Wix is an amazing platform for beginners and it's very unlikely as a beginner that you will get lost using this platform. So let us teach you how you could use it to create a perfect or a very simple car rental website. So as you can see, the first step of course is creating your account or logging in. And after doing that, after making sure that your account are verified and created, this is what you're going to see when you first open Wix. As you can see here, this is where you could find all the sites that you have created in Wix. As you can see for me, I have created a few and tried it a lot already. And let's show you how to do it. First things first, click on the create new site over here on the top right. This will allow us to start our process. Although it will ask us first if we want to use the new Wix editor, which is the Wix Studio. And this is perfect for agencies and freelancers. So if you're one of these two, uh, you could try it out and play around with it as well. But for us, we're going to stick with the Wix editor or the basic one for now. So simply click on create Wix editor. Now it also has AI features, which as you can see, will allow you to bring your ideas to life. You could get started faster with the help of AI. Tell us about yourself and get personalized tool, image, and text for your site. You could use this to make your process faster and get your ideas be presented quicker. But for me, I prefer using Setup Without AI because I want to manage and customize almost every detail myself. But for you guys, you are free to utilize that feature. Now here, this is where the most important part of our creation is. It's not the most important per se, but it is one of the key movements or the key steps. As you can see here, it will ask you what kind of website are you creating. So simply first say rental. And it will show you all the available uh, types of rentals over here. And what you're going to look for is the car rental company. So simply select this. Now, after that, simply click on next. Now, why is selecting the kind of website important? Meaning, if you select the perfect or the correct type of website at the start, it will then customize and begin the process the way it should begin. As you can see here, it already redirected me to the dashboard, which is not what it would typically do if I started or if I chose portfolio. As you can see here, after entering car rental, it's going to ask you, uh, enter the name of your store so let's say for now our name or our store is c car rental something like that and then simply click on next then over here did you already have an online store now rental service are kind of like an online store it has a similar process but uh let's say no i'm just starting out so it could teach us the basics after clicking on next, we will be able to proceed to the next step. Now, what would you like to sell? Now, you're going to have to choose the service because it is a car rental service. So, it's not a physical product, it's not a digital product, it's not a quick on demand, it's not drop shipping as well. So, you're going to have to select the service which is online and in-person courses, classes, and appointments. And the appointment one is the one we're looking for. To that, click on next. And over here, it's going to ask you your sales channel. Where would you like to sell? So we're going to either have online store. If you have a mobile app, you could go with that as well. Or if you want social media, you could enable that as well. But for us, let's go with online store for now. Click on next. And there we go. You are ready to set up your store. So continue to the dashboard. Now over here, uh, let's wait for our screen to load. Now the dashboard is basically like the back end of the website. This is where you will be able to set up your domain, payment methods, the product, the sh shipping end, something like that, design your website, all of those stuff. And over here, let's simply click on booking services. And over here, as you can see, you have the different appointments available over here. So you have here for our driving lesson, vehicle inspection, uh, tour, rental, guided ATV tour, and many more. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the 2R, Vehicle Rental. So since we are a car rental company, and there we go, we could 
uh, change the name, add a tagline, add a description, duration over here, uh, the buffer time, and then you could see here, choose how clients can pay for this service. Right now we have per session, or we could have a per plan, or a per session or with plan, as you can see here. Then you could have the fixed price, or you could have it as free, valid prices, or custom price. So the price of the service or the rental will depend on you, of course. Then a payment preference, you could have it as either online or entire amount in person. Then your location, and then staff or images over here. Then after that, you can simply save this uh, click by clicking on save. Or if you don't want, you could also save and duplicate. So let's click on save for now. Uh, it's still here. But anyway, let's go back to our uh, booking service here. Now there are other booking or there are other services available over here. Uh, you could remove them if you want like for example guided atv tour we're not really going to need this so you can remove that as well or like the class over here you could remove that as well now let's show you how you could like create your website so click on sign and up you have your website over here and over here you have different templates for your website because of course the appearance of the website matters you could choose from all the templates over here for example we have this one you can click on edit and then you will be redirected to the editing page or like where you will be able to customize the website. Now, this process might take a while. So we're going to wait for a few seconds for this load and I'll get right back into you guys. And there we go. This is our website as you can see here. Now, editing our website is very simple, very be beginner friendly. Wix editor is not that hard, but as you can see, it's adding features, which is the Wix store. That is the default uh, feature that we have. So since we are uh, a company that will rent cars, so online store technically with what you saw earlier, it's within the online store. So we're, you're going to have to wait for this feature to be installed. So I'll give it a few minutes again, or a few seconds, depending on the process, but there we go. Now you have the option to let AI write your content again. We're not going to do that. Uh, it's going to give you a quick tour that on what is available. You have elements, which is the different things that you're seeing on your screen from buttons to text to icons, any of those stuff. You will be able to find it in elements. You also have sections, sections of your page. You have page and menu, site design, and uh, apps, business, media, and CMS. So if you want to add uh, elements, you can click on add elements over here. And then you can choose from all of these elements over here. You have payment, social, embedded code, interactive, menu, and anchor, gallery, and many more. As you can see, if you want to edit a specific part, simply select or hover on that part that you want to modify. For example, here, I would like to modify the repairs. You can simply select that and you will be able to uh, modify that. You can also move it around wherever you want it to be, as you can see here. So that's basically it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.